What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today's video is going to be about black media in Nigeria and how black it is and how addicted I am to it. And what I mean is how black the TV is when you turn it on in Nigeria. From the commercials to the TV shows, everything is so black. I love it. It's like the commercials, the soap commercials when they're talking about dish detergent. You see little black girls running around, smiling, jumping around to to like car commercials, to like just the everyday commercials that companies use to advertise products and services. You know, but everything's so black and it's so happy, it's so fun. It's just refreshing to see that. You know, just beautiful black people doing beautiful commercials about products that people use, you know. And <clears throat> another thing I've noticed uh while here is the movies and the tv shows that nigeria and africa as a whole produces because even though nigeria nollywood is like the center it's the center of of black me black media african media movies and stuff like that you know in america the only time we really come in contact with black movies black tv shows and black actors and actresses is like if you're taking your if you're taking your your woman to get her hair done at the hair salon, African hair salon or something like that, you may catch a movie that's on the TV or whatnot, but you don't necessarily get that, you know, you don't get it, you know, the opportunity to really see everything as it is, right? So uh but over here, because you know that's their TV, you know, they just you know, it's, it's African stuff all over the place. You know, African movies, and I get I get exposed to the great African uh, actors and actresses that work hard every day, you know, making entertainment for us to consume. And I'm telling you right now, you know, as a black person to come over here and to see, to see such things, you know, to get to see, you know, the different styles of movies, the period piece movies. For, I love the period pieces because, you know, media... You know, <laughs> the black media, you know, black media, it, it, it displays the history of our culture that we don't get exposed to in America. And I used to think that we didn't have anything like that. We didn't have anything representing, you know, post colonization, post colonization um, African art. I mean, we know that it exists, but, we, you know, nothing representing it, you know, in the media. <clears throat> but over here, I'm talking all sorts of beautiful, beautiful thought-provoking, well-thought-out uh, movies are being produced by these great actors and actors. I mean, seriously. Like, I'm talking about movies, period pieces, talking about the ancient time. We're talking about kingdoms, kings, warriors, evil e evil, evil kingdoms who, who, who oppressed other African tribes and how queens had to do certain things to you know, to protect their people, how kings had to do certain things to protect their people. I'm talking about our own King Arthurs and our own warriors, our own struggles against our own, you know, like things that, that like, for instance, we like watching Japanese animation and we like watching Japanese period pieces and watching the samurais and, and all the warriors. And we know pretty much, we know a lot of stuff about Japan and China based off the movies that they produce you know that's how we a lot of people learn about you know or they kind of like get introduced to the history of those people and we don't seem to have that it seems like in america all they want to do is show us slavery 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 and i don't know if anybody know but when shaka zulu came out the original shaka zulu that was the first time they ever made a big budget movie with all black african black or at black and african characters a main characters with a big budget and it was a it was a hit it was a hit right they never produced another one until we got black panther and that's that's a marvel character right because they knew the power of media they knew what happens when you when you put forth strong care historical characters and you you show our children these characters. You show these children our history. They start to they start to think different. They start to look different. They start to seek out that information, you know. And they start to, without even knowing, educate themselves on who they are and where they're from and what their people are about, you know. And so, 
That's what we need more of. And I wish, and let me tell you something, one day, this dog is all in the face. One day, the, uh, uh, these Nigerian uh, these Nigerian actors and actresses and these producers, and, and they're going to get a bigger budget. Because right now, their budget is very small, but they're still cranking out quality work. And thought I'm talking about, you, you got... You got, uh, it actually explains voodoo, voodoo, what we call voodoo, the original voodoo. It explains the spiritual systems. It explains, they have meanings in the movies. You know, they have thought-provoking meanings that you're supposed to take from these movies. About how old has to give way to the new. How old, sometimes kings can be corrupt. Sometimes leaders can be corrupt. Sometimes uh, people can be spoiled, thievery, or how not to steal. How to be a good, virtuous person. Like, they have all these things in these movies. And they have all this action, too. You got martial arts. You got you got, you got got warriors fighting. You know, African warriors fighting various other groups. You know, you got beautiful, beautiful artwork. You got beautiful clothing that we don't even know knew, know they exist. Like, if you think about it, look, look at the shows like Naruto, uh, 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 what do you, you got, um, Dragon Ball Z, and all these Japanese animations, right? They be having like these blue, they be having like tribal markings, blue markings. They have different wild hair and all that stuff. And you see black folks always doing cosplay, you know, at these events, which is nothing wrong. I love that. You know, cosplay is displaying the beautiful clothing and tribal marks of these various Japanese or Chinese or Korean Korean um, groups, tribes in ancient times. But here in Nigeria, we have the same thing. Here in West Africa, it's the same thing. Here in Africa, period, South Africa. North Africa, East Africa, West Africa. We got this real. We got real tribal marks. We got real paintings, tattoos that hey, the, the the women would wear, you know, to signify certain things. You got real beautiful hair hair designs with with beads and and all sorts of jewels and things in their hair that we don't get to see, you know. A lot of things that we can that 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 we that the society has made us call ghetto in the black community is not ghetto. It's some deep tribal uh, it's like some deep tribal uh, like memory or something like all the people say oh you did blonde hair blonde hair we do all color they do all colors here all colors beads and all sorts of crazy elaborate hair thingies and with beads in the hair and 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 tribal marks and and all sorts of beautiful outfits that rival anything the japanese or the chinese ever 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 had because we were doing it first my goat just won't leave me alone i mean so we have all that we have all that rich culture that we need to put on display and and, and africans are doing it here they're already doing it they just need a bigger budget budget they need a bigger budget so they can have better graphics uh you know be better production and it's gonna come it's going to come and i can't wait because these movies are amazing you know, it is, and, it, and it, a lot of these movies, some of these movies are on YouTube, but we wouldn't know the first thing about YouTube in it. I mean, we wouldn't know the first thing about finding it. You just got to be in the dating. It's got to be put in front of you because it's hard to find it in America because we don't have any real dedicated channels. We don't have any de dedicated channels towards it, but here, obviously, we're in Africa, so, you know, obviously, is it's going to be here. And a lot of the actors here, I'm telling you, a lot of the actors here, in in, in in Nollywood, they're from all over the place. You know, I've seen actors from East Africa, actors from from South Africa. You see Ghana, Ghana a lot of Ghani, Ghana, Ghana, Guyana. Well, I don't even know how you say. It. What do they call it? So, Guyanese, Ghanese, Ghana. A lot of actors from Ghana are here. So, I mean, it's a big industry, and I really appreciate the work that they're doing because I mean, you got some great actors here, some great actors that should be in Hollywood. And I know Netflix has been stepping game up, giving a lot of opportunities to these people. Uh, over here to make their movies and I hope Tyler Perry also uh, puts his power behind it too you know you know as we support black media because black media is black media whether it's in America or, or in Africa it's all black you know we should be supporting each other telling our own stories you know creating our own anime about our own rich history our own rich culture so we can boost our confidence so we have what you call racial self-esteem we gotta build our racial self-esteem you know, you know how proud Asians are when they see their Jap, they, they see their movies on film. They see people enjoying their movies and wearing and cosplaying their, their, uh, their uh, characters. I mean, we should be doing the same thing. We have we have more than enough. We have more than enough kings that we need to be talking about. We got more than enough queens we need to be talking about. 
Period. We should be naming our babies after these queens, our, our little girls after these queens. We should be naming our sons after these kings. We should be naming our sons and our daughters after these female warriors and these these male warriors that are that, that have impacted Africans in history. There's just there's a well of information, historical information that needs to be brought out to the masses, and we need to become aware of them. We don't need Cinderella. We don't need to keep making historically white. Uh, characters black just to appease us. We have our own characters. We have our own superheroes. We have our own live superheroes that were alive. Our ancestors, we have them. We need to just put them to light. And I really appreciate how they're doing it here. It's just that, you know, they just need a bigger budget so they can make it even more fantastical than it already is. And I'm looking forward to seeing the future and seeing what more we got to offer. Uh, you know, we got to offer. Because it's definitely something that we need um, as a people to be seeing ourselves in a different light. Cause I'm, I tell you what, I know, I know all you y'all sick of these slave movies. Like we know it happened. We we know it happened. We got plenty of slave movies. We know we do, we know what happened. We don't need them more. We understand that. And slavery does not define us as a group of people. Slavery is something that happened to us. It's not who we are. We were enslaved. We weren't slaves. We were enslaved. We were not slaves. So we should get rid of that. It's something that happened to us. Right. As Africans, okay? So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, this Afro Think Tank, learn something, teach something. I'm out.